firsthand what happens when road rage boils over and explodes into Fury Road. She just hit her car. She just hit her car. It's what you have to see before your family hits the road this 4th of July on 2020 Friday at 10, 9 central on ABC. First out the door, when it matters most, for more than a decade, he's been right there, everywhere. And when American jobs are on the line, he leads the charge. More Americans are now watching World News Tonight than in a decade, and we thank you. Finally tonight, America Strong, the former homeless teen graduating at the top of her class. You met her right here, inspiring everyone with the song she used as her secret weapon, including, it turns out, the disco queen who responded with a big surprise. Just three weeks ago, we brought you the story of high school grad Megan Faircloth. It was difficult at first because when I was starting to apply to college, I didn't even have an address. That's because she, along with her sister and mother, all lived in this beat up Chevy Cavalier. But Megan never stopped fighting or studying, graduating valedictorian. She's off to Stanford now. But in our story, she revealed a secret how she used a certain disco hit to overcome the toughest moments. I took like song lyrics like um, I Will Survive by Gloria Gaynor. <laughs> I like listened to that song whenever we had like internet access to like try to keep myself going. Like, I will survive this. Well, Gloria Gaynor heard about Megan's story and wanted to meet her. So Megan and her family set out on a road trip. Megan bringing her book bag, which sometimes she used as a pillow. Gaynor's lyrics written all over it. And then came that moment. <laughs> Gloria Gaynor, armed with a oh, microphone, no, I, spotting Megan. I will survive. The disco oh, queen going a cappella, treating to Megan to a I private survive. performance. I've got all my life to live. And I've then that hug. How are you? <laughs> the Grammy winner admitting she was the one who was touched. Just so amazed at the strength of character of this young lady. And then she said that she used yeah. my song <laughs> to help her. And I thought, this is the purpose of my song. You are so deserving. And we wish good luck to Megan at Stanford. Our thanks to ABC affiliate WTVD in Raleigh for that story. And thank you so much for watching on a Tuesday night. I'm Tom Yamas. I hope to see you right back here tomorrow. For David and all of us, good night. ABC News, America's number one news source. Long live the trucks that honor the past with a class exclusive air suspension that can tackle the toughest terrain and a load leveling rear suspension to shoulder the weight. One drive and you'll discover why Ram trucks are America's longest lasting pickups. Hurry in for the last days of the Ram Drive and Discover event. Get 0% APR for 72 months or get an average 12044 in total values on Ram 1500 Bighorn Crew Cab. On Jeopardy, we've got a clue. Something neat just for you. Zeus synopsizes himself. Play along with Jeopardy. Tonight at 7.30 on ABC7. This is a story about declarations, dogs, and a day off from doing. These guys were our founding doers. Well, two out of four. Today, we honor all they're doing with this kind of doing. And that takes a whole lot of mustard and ketchup and propane. Propane that comes from natural gas or oil. And getting it made into propane and getting it to your grill takes energy. Well, seems like taking a day off takes a whole lot of doing and energy. Also, doers of today can celebrate doers of the past the way American doers do. Oh, pardon me. ABC 7 News, Washington's new top choice at 6 p.m. Studios, it's America's Game. We are Washington! Ladies and gentlemen, here are the stars of our show, Pat Sajak and Vanna White. Thank you. Thanks, everybody. That was Jim Thornton. Thank you. Have a nice trip. Hey, how y'all doing? Get ready. If you want to win money, now is the time. Our first <laughs> toss-up, fun and games, the category. All yours, Vanna. Pete. Hitting the road. You got it. Yes. What an easy game this is. Yeah. There's nothing to it. <laughs> Uh, Pete Haney came all the way from Wells, Kansas yeah, to be here. We appreciate that. Um, how big a town is Wells? Uh, unincorporated. Okay. We actually live outside of, that's the closest town. But. Okay, got it. Uh, you're married? Married to Angel for 11 years. 
I have two boys, Garrett, 24, Shane, 22. And you're uh, in the trucking business, you own your own we, company? Yes, my wife and I, six years ago, bought out a friend of ours trucking company. It's just a local uh, rock and dirt hauling business. Yeah, sounds like a good life you have there. Pete, nice to have you with us. Thank you. Uh, hi, Lindsay. Hi, Pat. You're Lindsay Rivera from Bethlehem, Pennsylvania. I am, I am. A supervisor in a contract group for medical devices. That's correct, you're good. Thank you, yes. it, was, it was right yeah. here in my you're car. You're good, that's good. <laughs> uh, you're married? I am to my wonderful and patient husband, Cruz, for 11 years. Yeah. We have three beautiful daughters, Sophia, who's nine, Lily is four, and Cassidy is a year and a half. So sports, it's... Philadelphia Eagles for yeah. football and New York Yankees for baseball. Okay. I know it's an odd combination, but it's, it's just the way the cookie crumbles. You can that. do whatever you want. Thank you. Nice to have Thank you here. You. Hi, Vicki. Hi. Uh, Vicki Reese Simeon yes. is from Reseda, California, in the lovely San Fernando Valley. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> uh, now, you, you worked for the city of Santa Monica. I did. I retired now? from the city of Santa Monica, yes. Good. And what are you doing these days to keep yourself... Um, went to bartending schools. I bartend at home. <laughs> um, and I uh, golf. Um, yeah. who, do you, who do you bartend for at home? My husband and myself. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, now, you, you speaking of football, as we were a moment ago, yes. Green Bay Packers, you, you're one of the stockholders? I the, am. Yes, so I am. How many shares Ooh, of the Green Bay Packers? Um, two. So did you live there before? Did I you? did. I'm from oh. Wisconsin originally. Okay. Good. Yes. No, you're, you're Go a, Pack. You're a football mogul. I or, am. Moglet or whatever <laughs> it is. I don't know how that Moglet works. sounds good. Moglet. There you go. <laughs> All right. Get ready. We'll do another toss-up. This one is worth $2,000. And the category is Thing. A rite of passage. Oh, give her two thousand dollars. One for each share of stock. <laughs> All right. The category for this first round is what are you doing? And Vicky, you won the right to start. 